Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about translations in math. You can get the worksheet we use in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Translation in math refers to when you take a shape or a point on the coordinate grid and you slide it on the coordinate grid. When translating in math, your x and your y coordinates control different ways to translate or slide. The x will control if the figure goes left or right, and then the y will control if it goes down or up. For the figure to go left, that means you're going to subtract from the x coordinate. If it was going to go right, you have to add to the x coordinate. For it to go down, you're going to subtract from the y, and then if it's going to go up, you will add to the y. If you were going to slide this shape, okay, you can slide it right if you add to the x. You'll slide it left if you subtract from the x. It'll slide up if you add to the y, and then it will slide down if you subtract from the y. Most of the time, it will be a combination of the change in the x and the y. So you'll go right and then up, or left and then up, or left and down. It just all depends. The first problem on our translations and math worksheet says to translate figure A, B, C, D seven units right and two units up. We look at our figure A, B, C, D, and we know we have to translate seven units to the right and two units up. In order to do this, we're going to label each vertice and we're going to count 7 to the right and 2 up. So here we are at B, we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then up 2. And we're going to label this B prime. And then we do the same thing for each coordinate. A, up 2, this will be A prime. And C goes 7 to the right, and then up 2 and then D, 7 to the right, and then up 2. Right there, so that would be D prime. Then we can connect our vertices, and this will be our new shape. So this is our new figure here. Number 2 says, translate figure A, B, C, D, X minus 5, and Y minus 10. We know that X controls if it's going to go left, or right, and we know that y controls if it goes up or down. So if it's x minus 5, that means we know it's going to go left because anytime you subtract from the x, it's going to move left. And because we're subtracting 5, it's going to go left 5. And then y minus 10, that is also subtracting from y, so that means it's going to go down 10 in the y value. So let's go ahead and plot our vertices in red. We know it goes left 5, so we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down 10. 8, 9, 10. Now I'm going to label this A prime. And then we do that for each vertice. Once our new vertices are plotted, we will connect the vertices to draw our new figure. And this will be the new figure after the translation. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.